Greetings, my YouTube family and my Twitch family. Frodo T. Baggins coming at you here with another edition of a Metalhead Reacts to Rap. So, I was given um, a suggestion by one of my coworkers and friends, and uh, he suggested to me that I review uh, a rapper known as Aesop Rock. Uh, now, I don't know much about Aesop Rock, so I try to do a little bit of research on him. Uh, apparently, he's a hip hop artist, an alternative hip hop artist that was. Um, he got his first album released in 1997, and uh, he's apparently a very lyrical, like, he's known for his lyrics. Like, he's very, very lyrical, and um, he's very deep, from what I've understood. Uh, not, not so much as your mainstream rap. And uh, sometimes his songs have been interpreted as hard to understand, and so um, I think this will be a good challenge for me to react to this and see exactly, you know, if I can get what he's saying and, um, and understand it. Now, I did a little bit of research into the song I'm going to do. The song is called Kirby. Um, apparently, it's about his cat, but it's also, um, it's also a song about dealing with clinical depression, from what I understand. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get into it and check it out and uh, see if I can, you know, understand it and get to it. Um, I will pause here and there for copyright issues and to, you know, give my thoughts and see if maybe I can understand what he's talking about. Um, hopefully it's not over my head, but, you know, we'll get into it and check it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the video. And uh, just remember, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, uh, let me know if you want me to keep doing videos like this and what you would recommend and who you would recommend. Um, so like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to get into uh, Aesop Rock right now. So without further ado, let's kick it up, pull it up, and hit it out. Here we go. Alright. I like the beat. Okay, so obviously it's talking about a cat, you know. Uh, yeah, I get it. You know, hides in slippers. Okay, very cool. The cult met a cat lady in a parking lot. She got the heroes of tomorrow in a cardboard box and probably hoarding 40 more in the corners of Fort Knox. Swap 20 on a spot and cop the war. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but apparently it's about a lady. You know, he found her in the parking lot and she's selling kittens. And so he gives her 20 and, you know, he's got a new cat. Back, back at the haunt, found God in the hamper. Briefs on her head, playing. All right. Sorry, I read ahead. That's funny. <laughs> Why'd you eat that leaf? How many times have cats done stuff and you're like, Why did you do that? Yo, yo. That's this is good. I'm really enjoying this. It, it's a song about a cat. It's good stuff. It's good beat too. It's 
really cool picture too. All right. Well, how about that? That was uh, that was actually pretty good and pretty enjoyable. I never thought I could, you know, get into a song about somebody's cat. And, you know, I didn't really pick up the metaphor too much for the depression. But, I mean, maybe the cat helps with, you know, his depression and helps, you know. Uh, animals definitely do help when you're depressed. Um, at least I think so. Um, I had it, I suffered from anxiety for a little while. And I tell you, my dog was a big, big help in calming myself down. So I can see if you do have depression or, you know, anxiety, anything like that. Or animals, if you're, if you like animals, they could help you. But yeah, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad my friend uh, Dossett recommended that to me. That was a pretty dang good song. Um, I'm gonna keep this uh, train of going. I mean, I, so far out of all the rap songs that I've listened to, I've actually enjoyed them all, and uh, I think it's really cool because I never had this much of an open mind with, uh, especially with rap music. So I'm gonna keep it, uh, keep it going. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hang out. You know, uh, follow me on Twitch as well. Uh, Frodo underscore Teabaggins underscore uh, over on Twitch. You can catch me live. Um, I usually stream Dead by Daylight, but I do stream some other games. And, um, you know, you can chat with me and hit me up if you want to over there. But uh, for now, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for all your support. And I'll catch you guys later.